Hey everyone, so we've got another image sent in for us to edit in this one by Mitchell here. So his links will be down in the description. Definitely go give him a follow down there if you like his work. So coming down, we can see we have those really nice dark blacks and quite soft highlights, a real cinematic look. And you'll see he has a lot of videos here. So I definitely recommend going and checking out his YouTube as well. So come up here. And check it out here and he's got a lot of really impressive cinematics and vlogs over here so definitely recommend coming and checking out his youtube so going back to his instagram we are going to be trying to recreate the edit for this image right here so let's get into it the raw unedited file and the very first thing i'm going to do is really bring up the exposure so we don't have any blue colors in the image so we've got to put them in there somehow and lowering the temperature is really going to help with that but we don't want to go too far down because we want to just keep an eye on our blacks we want to keep them nice and black we don't want too much blues getting in there so i think about there is a good starting point so just gonna play with the exposures. So I'm gonna bring up the shadows because I want more detail around the edges there. I'm gonna bring whites down because we look a bit too bright in the brightest areas. And blacks we want nice deep blacks so I'm gonna bring these down but now we have lost a bit of that glow to the image so I'm gonna try to bring some of that back gonna play with the dehaze first actually so when I bring the haze up it's gonna give us that hazy glow to the image and then a little bit of clarity will help get that crispness and sharpening to a lot of these bits we obviously don't want to go too far with that either about there and we're just getting those nice detailed specks but still keeping that softness of, of those highlights. Nice little bit of glow with this dehaze. And we're obviously lacking a lot of color in there. So I'm going to really boost the vibrance. And so with the tone curve, I want our blacks to say stay really dark because I think they're getting a little bit bright so what I'm gonna do to really darken these blacks is to usually you would lift the blacks up like this but I think this image is quite unique and the way I would go about replicating this edit is in this situation dragging it this direction and you get a much darker black And then just brighten the shadows, mid-tones, and highlights slightly. And I think that also gives us a nice glow to the image while keeping those nice dark blacks. So that's the main gist of this image, I think. So colors, we need to try to get these blues in here. So I'm going to go straight for, uh, just mess with some hues. We want a teal rather than a dark blue. We've got too much purple in there, so I'm going to see if we shift these purples to more of a blue. Try that with magenta as well. And... Let's really bump up the saturation of the blues. I think they're in there, they're just not coming out enough. 
So really bring that up. And luminance. So as you can see, I think we're, we're quite dark. It's quite a dark blue. So I'm going to try to bring up the luminance. Add some brightness in there. I think these outer edges are looking a bit too dark. The outer edges of the brighter areas. So, and they're mostly purple tones. So I'm going to bring up the purple, maybe the magenta. And if there's any aquas in there, bring that up. And I sort of don't like how purple how much purple there is out in these areas. So I'm just going to drop the purple down. And we're looking pretty good. I might put a bit more blue in there. So in these really bright areas it's hard to get colors in there. We put quite a bit of colors in there with cooling it down. And we put blues in where colors naturally are. But we want a bit more blue in the really bright areas like this. So to do that, I'm gonna try to put it in the highlights. A nice blue in the highlights. So there's the before and after of the split toning, putting some blue in those highlights. So these areas go from a desaturated purplish color to now a nice light blue, a bit more like this image here. Gonna leave the shadows, we've got them looking nice and dark and black. Maybe a bit of sharpness. But we, we want to keep our image still looking nice and soft with the glow. So I'm going to bring up the masking. If I hold Alt. I don't want to sharpen the very small edges. Only the large edges. And we are looking pretty good. Now we just might want to touch it up a bit. So one thing I'm going to do is a brush, I'm going to just bring up the exposure and I'm just going to brush wherever I think it needs to be a bit brighter. So looks like it's a bit brighter down here and maybe that's being done to make the image look a bit more balanced or symmetrical. Right, I think that looks a little better. And to balance out the image as well, maybe what he's done is just brushed on the highlights here. And just taking them down a bit and you get that detail back. Right, and so one other thing I might do here is we want to keep the center of the image the real fo focal point. So to help that, I'm going to do 
radial filter. And to help the center of the image be stand out the most, I'm gonna do stuff like uh, bring up the contrast. So darkening the blacks and brightening the highlights a bit. And maybe if it needs it, take down the blacks a little. Probably doesn't need it. And I just want a bit more blue in there. So I'm going to bump up the saturation as well. And then looking pretty good. If you wanted to add a bit more of a glow to the image, brush, bring down the dehaze, and just add a little bit of glow, probably to the highlights. If you're after a bit more of that soft, of, of those soft highlights. But I'm pretty happy with that. Looking pretty close. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how close we got there. I think we could, there's some small differences now. We could maybe try fixing them a little, but looking pretty good. Just going to leave it there, guys. So, you guys, make sure you go give them a follow down in the description. Uh, yeah, and definitely comment down who you guys want to see. People that I should reach out to and ask for them to send in an image, and I'll do a tutorial on them. So it really helps if you guys do that struggling to find enough people to do tutorials on so it'd be awesome if you guys could do that and yeah comment down below what you like about these videos what you want to see more of and that would be awesome thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one